Oh guys, today we're talking about this, so this Nintendo Direct Week and Nintendo Week. So Zelda Week was the Nintendo Wano release a Skyward Sword HD for Zelda's 25th anniversary next year. The remastered game is already done for the Switch for a year now. However, because of the Joy-Con launch, which is 68% of the controls failing within a year, Nintendo wants to stray away from most of the controls for the Switch. Nintendo wants consumers to play in handheld mode or a pro controller instead. Because of this reason, Skyward Sword HD will not be released for the Switch, and the upcoming Switch Pro will not use Joy-Cons at all. It will be using a normal controller. Because of the incredible form of the Super Mario 3D old cells, Nintendo will plan to release a Zelda collection instead. The games are Ocarina of Time, Azor's Mask, and Twilight Princess HD. The games will be not be ports and in-house em but in-house emulators created by Nerd. Uh, and the X64 games will not be widescreen because the camera will go through some models. In some cases, the Twilight Princess will be a remastered version of HD textures. Smash Bros. Reads is next Friday's DLC character will be revealed next week. And there's a 2D Master game in development, so that's the whole week here. Of oh, course, cool. we're going to talk about the Zelda games. I don't believe Nintendo is going to cancel Skyward Sword if it's incompleted because I think that they can make the game without most of controls, make the game play normally. I know Nintendo is against that. Like, they want, like, Star Fox Zero, they really want to force most of controls down your throat in that game. So, Nintendo still makes games of most controls, like, you know, Wing Fit Adventure. That's a game with most definitely most controls where we basically have to play. Really, was it basically another one of those exercise games that really not many people like? And yeah, basically, yeah. And it's a oh, I've, I forgot actually to count in my old older videos. The Switch actually has four years, so that means next year Switch will be on its fifth year. Then, oh, well, I forgot that whole factor. Then, then, but yeah, that's basically about this video. Goodbye.